Greetings, family, from AA, Exit the Matrix, anchor.fm, slash Anja Africa. Thank you for watching the channel. I am showing you all the dresses that I bought in Saracunda for 100 Delasi. Um, if you're interested in any of these dresses, please feel free to contact me. Know that you won't be paying 100 Delasi because it took me time and energy and transportation to secure these dresses. And I had to bargain a brother down to get the prices. I also took time examining the dresses. I washed them by hand to make sure they were clean and presentable. And now they are ready for sale. So please let me know if you're interested in any of these dresses and we can come to a reasonable, a reasonable price for them. Uh, this is one of them. I wanted to tell you the reason why I was attracted to these dresses. They're not for everybody, but I love them because if you know how to style clothing, you can style them different ways. What I love about these dresses is the length, right? Because you have material to work with. Look at the embroidery, though. Like for me, it's the embroidery. The work around the neck and the sleeves. Like you don't even need a necklace on if you didn't want to because the front of the dress just gives it life, right? If you need ideas on how to style oversized clothing or how to style clothing that you may not be wearing, check out the sister Thrift and Tell. She is amazing. I've been following her for a while. I've told everybody I know about her. I've even shared her with people on the continent. And I can't wait to share a couple of my pieces where I use her style tips. So here's one. I'm going to show you another one. All right, family. So here's another one. This one has a mandarin collar and, you know, just like um, some Asian inspired work around the top. It also has the ribbon on the sleeve. It's really cute. Uh, this is supposed to be a double XL, but I'd say it's more like a 12, 14. It runs a little small. This is the style. It's also long. And I'm going to go to the next one. So here's another one. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's very long, but, you know, you can always do... Um, some um, alterations if you need to look at the beauty of this when I tell you beautiful like I just love the beadwork I really do now this one says size six but obviously it isn't because it fit me and it had a little size to it I still had room to move around it's a beautiful like jade color or sea foam green um, this is a beauty as well very long um, also know that these dresses are one of a kind. Like I pulled up the ones that I thought were the best, but I did not see duplicates of these dresses. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay, y'all, here's another one. Now, can I tell you that generally I would not go for this pattern? I might be thinking granny or not liking the colors, but it was something about the embroidery. Like, the white made me think of, like, shells for some reason. The embroidery work is just so beautiful. And I was like, I don't know, but I brought it, honey. I brought it home. I tried it on. When I tell you beautiful, skin popping, the dress is an amazing fit. This, is, this was my favorite, believe it or not. So please, y'all, you know, step outside of your comfort zones. Try something different. Don't be afraid. But this dress was calling me, and I held on to it. And sure enough, when I brought it home, I was not disappointed. So I had to show y'all this one. I'm going to end with this amazing embroidery on the sleeve. And we're going to move to the next one. Okay, family, here's another one. Uh, this one has some very delicate beading around the neck. I notice all the beads are not there, but it just gives it like a subtle look. You really can't tell because of the pattern, but you can see on the sleeves it has these cool little heart buttons. Look how cute that is. And you see the details running through here. There's a little bit going on, but I think a number of them have probably just fallen off, but you can't tell. It's really beautiful. It's a great pattern. The pattern is kind of subtle, but uh, it's fun. It's fun, and again, the buttons were everything for me. 
So I hope you all, I know you all enjoyed this. My Delasi uh, bargains, right? From the brother. Check me out on Instagram, ALM the artist, and you will see that the brother um, was at the Saracunda market. Not easy to find because they move around. Uh, but he had dresses and I noticed the fabric from the other side of the street and that's what made me go over and check out his stuff and I was very pleased with what I found and let me see if I have any more to show you okay so I have two more dresses this one and one more to show you that I completely forgot about um, this is another beauty. This one is 100% bloom cotton. So if you're like a, you know, person that's into um, fabrics or you're a seamstress or a designer, you know all about bloom cotton. Um, they're great colors. This one is really kind of cool. Again, it was the embroidery work for me. Um, there's snaps on the sleeve. There's actually snaps on the shoulders as well, which I didn't realize before. So I guess if you had to breastfeed, this would be a cool one, right? Because you could kind of let the front down. Um, look at the work, y'all. It's just beautiful. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. However, I appreciate a good deal. So you could use these for a variety of things. House dresses. Dresses to go out in, dresses to restyle. And I have one last one, which is also a favorite of mine. I'll let you see. And then we'll wrap up. All right. Last but not least. Now, this one doesn't have embroidery, but it was the African fabric for me. I like the pattern. Not a big red fan, but I've become a fan of red being on the continent because so many beautiful fabrics have red in it. So I'm embracing it a little differently. And then they change it up up here at the top with this blue pattern. And the sleeves have a zip, which is different. It has a little zip pattern. And you can see a little, it looks like maybe the threading, maybe where they sewed it at. But outside of that, great condition and like I said all these were washed hand washed by me because I wanted to make sure everything was clean and yes y'all saw my socks but you didn't say what see what my socks say black lives matter see my socks yes this is it family I hope you enjoyed this video of these amazing dresses. If you're in the Gambia, look me up. I'll let you know what's in stock or you'll stop by my store and check out things there. I do have a bonus for you. Let me show you these pants that I had made. Some of you may have seen it, seen it in another video, but I had these made. Okay, so here are the pants that I had made. I sketched them out, gave the designs to the brother. Um, they do have pockets. They have pockets. See, there's a side pocket. And I'm going to tell you what I noticed about the pocket. When I went to put my hands in the pockets, I noticed a sticky substance, like the sticker from the fabric. Um, didn't like that. I didn't think that was really professional because I'm sure he had to notice that sticky substance. I'm trying to see if it's gone now with the wash. Um, but, yeah. When I put my hand down in there, I felt the sticky substance, and I'm pretty sure it's from the tags that they put on the material. Like, it's understood, but, you know, I think if you're making something, you need to make sure that that's not inconveniencing your cu your customer. So these are the fabrics that this brother sewed squares together of African fabric. You can see all the different designs. This one's pretty cool. All of them are beautiful, really. And the blue one has this sparkle. It's a gold sparkle to it. It's just amazing. All the amazing fabrics that, you know, he utilized. So I appreciate his work. I know it took time. The other thing I noticed about these pants was that there were places in the seams that were open. I noticed one or two seams that he missed. Maybe he didn't run the line all the way down. Um, but little things like that I pay attention to. You know, um, I expect, see, look, right here. See how it's open? 
because he missed that. So little things like that, I'll have to take them back or I'll have my seamstress cover it, you know, fix it for me. Um, and I thought I noticed somewhere with the paper, see, right here, when they put stickers on the fabric. So I'll have to try to get this off where the paper was left on the fabric. And he sewed it, so he had to know that was there. It's okay, so you see, that's what makes me not, like, go back and do business with people. Either I'll talk to them about what they did, so I probably will let them know, but I won't be giving him any major projects, because I, as a whole, I was happy with the pants. I don't like that, you know, he left those little things, which I think were unprofessional when you're doing a job. So, I'll end it there. That was the bonus, y'all, a pair of pants. Blessings. See you soon.